Good afternoon everybody, it's your pal Martin the Melody here. I hope you're getting well. It's today I was just doing this like you know, square chart, kind of similar to like what happened, like the rich dad, the poor dad thing, but instead of like, you know, people who have poor jobs and people who have good businesses, etc. What I did was I decided to divide stuff to, to purchase from different shops. So I figured out like if I shop a little, I can easily get hummus, water, and like oat biscuits for a good price. If I went to the markets, I could easily get fruit, veg, dates, and plantain for a decent price. Because, I mean, one market will sell plantain for three for a pound, others will sell three for a pound twenty. Yeah, today, I wanted four oranges at a local corner shop that were going to charge me almost two pounds just for four oranges. I said no. So then from savers, I realized that I could actually get toiletries, cleaning products, snacks, and health products all for a good price. Like, you know, I made another video about savers a while ago, so that explains it all. And then at the proper chain of supermarket that I go to, I could get like oat milk, soy yogurt, crumpets, vegan burgers, spring water, plantain chips, and bananas for like a good price. But then today I did such a small shop at the little near my town. So we get this. So I bought simply sparkling water for 17 pence. Normally you can get this from, you know, big chains like Sainsbury's, Tesco's and Morrison for 17 pence. So that's similar, like not much of a difference in price. I got these OTs for 36 pence. The, the major no-name brand are OTs like at the other chain supermarkets like the Morrison's Sainsbury's are charging 45 pence so that's a huge savings oh this one's a big major thing to me and I've been having soy yogurt every day for the last just three weeks a tub of soy yogurt natural 85 pence and I'm paying like a pound for Alpro soy yogurt as it's reduced from 170 so Morrison's and other like you know, supermarkets will stop charging a pound soon as it's basically just a special and specials only last for a certain period of time. So it'll be best if I go to Little from now on. The last few weeks I was buying hummus for a pound twenty at uh, Sainsbury's, but this one, reduced fat hummus, it's got like just orange like label warning stickers, not red. This one is 69 pence. And before I started going to Little, I was paying a pound twenty for like a similar size type of hummus. This is quite good value, and the good thing is I like using the containers to keep you know nuts and seeds for afterwards. The last on my list, the oat sachets original at seventy two pence. Normally I would buy like Quaker oats, like a big box for a pound or two, but what I like to do is I like the individually oat sachet because I can put all of this ingredients in a tiny jar and then one day I'll decide oh yes I really do want to have porridge for breakfast or the next day no I don't have time for porridge I'm just gonna add it to my cereal or well, no not my cereal my soy yogurt always remember that little is similar prices to Aldi but it's so much cheaper than the Morrison's Sainsbury's or Tesco's or whatever ridiculous chain of supermarket you shop at in the United Kingdom and Northern Ireland so that's, that's it for me, and may I also remind you all that, like, Little literally saved my life when I was in Stockholm for a whole month. I always shopped at Little, I didn't shop anywhere else in Stockholm but Little, and I was so lucky to live near Little. So, if you're in Europe, traveling anywhere, don't forget to shop at Little. I'll save you money. I'm Martin the Millhead. I'm over and out.